Like it or not, Rec Room is a pretty well-known game, but in my opinion, it could be a lot better. So, over the past few months, I've made a ton of concepts of things that I would like to see added to Rec Room, and today, I'd like to show you these concepts, whether they're minor adjustments or major improvements that would forever change the game. Starting with something that used to be in Rec Room that a lot of people miss, weekly challenges. You see, a few months ago, Rec Room decided to discontinue the weekly challenges after over a year of the challenges appearing every month instead of every week. And Rec Room have stated that there are a lot of reasons as to why this happened, like the challenges being only Rec Room original focus, the system being built a long time ago, as well as only a few percentage of players actually completing them. However, a lot of people did not like this change, which does make sense since the weekly was around for a long time. So, what if Rec Room decided to remake the weekly challenges to try and not only fix some of the problems that the old weeklies had, but also update the menu? That is why I made this concept of what the weekly challenges might look like today. It not only has new challenges with both user created and Rec Room original games, Games, but it also has an updated menu that matches the UI style that we currently have. Rec Room have said in the same blog post that they're eventually going to find something to replace the old weekly challenges, so we might someday see an updated version of the weekly or a replacement for it, but I doubt it will be anytime soon. Something that will most likely be entirely replaced, however, are custom shirts. These were released over two years ago, and they allowed you to draw on a custom shirt in-game and publish it for other people to buy and wear. This was pretty much the first version of UGC clothing, and since we're getting Avatar Studio soon, which will allow you to make custom clothing inside of Rec Room Studio, there won't really be a reason to buy or use custom shirts anymore. Which is unfortunate, especially since custom shirts have a lot of potential, but haven't really been updated much besides allowing you to make them cheaper, which was very recent. And not only that, but if you look at the thumbnail of Rec Room's official custom shirt announcement video, you will see that the shirts shown there not only have two different shirt types, something that isn't possible in game, but also shows the ability to change the colors of both the pants and the collar. And this seems like a perfect idea to make custom shirts a bit more viable, which is why I made this concept. It's pretty simple. All I did was just add a button to change the colors of the pants and collars, which is why I also made this concept of what a shirt could look like if this feature was implemented. So overall, I think this would be a good and simple update to custom shirts. If Rekko wanted to make them better and not have them pretty much replaced by Avatar Studio. And speaking of simple, if you could go to my profile at werewolf and press the big support button, it would not only be very easy, but it would also help me out a ton. Anyways, this next concept has a lot to do with not only UGC clothing and custom shirts, but also inventions. You see, in Rec Room, you're able to make things with the maker pen and save them as an invention to give away for free or even sell for tokens, usually being made alone. And the same can be said with UGC clothing and custom shirts. You usually make them alone. But what if you decided to work with somebody to make an invention to sell, or you work with somebody to create a UGC outfit to sell and you want them to also receive the profits? Well, that's why I made two concepts. One for how having multiple owners of one invention, and another for having multiple owners of a custom UGC outfit. This may not seem useful at first, but I think if this was implemented, this would encourage a lot of people to work together to make some amazing outfits and inventions inside of Rec Room, so I would love to see this added one day. And speaking of clothing items, the next concept has to do with some of the full body avatar shirts. Just let me explain. You see, Rec Room has a ton of outfits, and when Rec Room released full body avatars, not all of them were updated, and some of these outfits still haven't been updated after six months, which is understandable. Like I said, there are a ton of outfits. However, this has resulted in a bunch of Rec Room shirts looking really bad when worn in full body. One of these shirts being these overalls. These overalls are some of my favorite items in Rec Room, and there are three versions of them. Two of them being fruit themed, costing 1,500 tokens each, and the other one being from a token bundle that still hasn't been re-released. However, all three of these do not have a proper full body version, which means that whatever leggings you choose to wear, will show up with these shirts, which sucks a lot. And while they could get away with making whatever leggings you wear with it invisible since they're short overalls and can look good without them, I thought to myself, what if Rec Room decided to make the overalls bigger instead of being short? And that is why I made this concept of what a full body version of the Citrus overalls could look like. Unfortunately for this shirt and all the other unfinished full body avatar shirts, Rec Room themselves have stated that they're not going to focus on updating older items, so we're most definitely not going to see 
see any fixes for the overalls anytime soon, which sucks. Something we have seen in Vacuum, however, is the mouth glitch, which inspired me to make the next concept. You see, a while ago, there was a bug that allowed people to have more customization with their mouths, making them bigger, smaller, and even make them so small that they start making your character frown. This bug was very popular, but unfortunately, Requiem recently not only fixed the bug, but also fixed any outfits that were affected with it, which means that the bug is now gone pretty much forever. However, this bug gave me a pretty cool idea. What if Requiem dis- Oh, wow. Folks, yeah. What if Requiem decided to make this bug a feature and allowed you to not only make your mouth as big and as small as you want, but also move it anywhere you want and even rotate it? This concept showcases all of that with an advanced settings option that allows you to move your mouth anywhere you want. Requiem could even implement this with stuff like eyes, noses, and eyebrows if they wanted to. Overall, I think this would be a very cool feature for Requiem to add. I really hope they add this someday as it would be very useful and allow you to customize your avatar way more. And this next concept I want to talk about also has to do with having more customization, mainly the categories each item goes in. You see, in Requiem, each type of cosmetic item has a category that it goes in, stuff like tops, earrings, gloves, and more, but for some reason, both shoulder and back items are in the same category called shoulder and back, which confused me a lot. And on top of that, jackets don't even have their own category. They're also in shoulder and back, which I guess does make sense since they're technically on your shoulder. However, what if shoulder items, back items, and jackets all had separate categories that they were in so you could wear a jacket, shoulder, and back item all at the same time? That is why I made this concept for the UI if these items were all separated into their own categories. I also made this concept of what it would look like to wear both a jacket, shoulder, and back item at the same time. While I don't think Rec Room will ever add this concept, unfortunately, since it would probably take up too much time, I think having something similar to this, like adding the ability to wear more than one shoulder and back item, would be a nice addition and seems more possible in the future. This next concept has to do with something that you'll most likely see every time you log into Rec Room, your dorm room. The dorm room is the place that you usually spawn in when you start Rec Room, and it's a place where you can hang out with friends, change your clothes, customize your dorm, or just have some alone time. And this makes sense for Rec Room, since if you didn't know, Rec Room takes place in a college campus. However, there's one thing that college campus dorm rooms have that Rec Room doesn't. Roommates. And while you can just make a club with one of your friends and make the club hang out your spawn point, what if you wanted to share a dorm room with one of your friends? That's why I made this concept, showing off the UI of how a roommate system in Rec Room would work. Since clubhouses exist, I highly doubt that this will ever get added, but it's a cool thing to think about in my opinion. Something else that I've been thinking about recently are Rec Room's loading screens. Let me explain. If you play Rec Room on screen mode, then you've probably seen these loading screens, and a lot of these are really well made. They're at the level I strive to be at one day when it comes to stuff like this. Whoever made these did a really fantastic job, and then we got loading screens like this, which exist, unfortunately. But besides that, what if Rec Room decided to make loading screens to promote games made within Rec Room, such as the Rec Room Originals? That is why I made these loading screens that show off different Rec Room Originals that you can play inside of Rec Room. I was also going to make one for player created rooms, but honestly, I got lazy. <laughs> However, I did make this loading screen, which has to do with the next few concepts I made Rec Room Cosmetic Recolors. You see, Rec Room will sometimes use old cosmetics and recolor them to look different, which results in new cosmetics that are easy to make and can be sold for tokens. Now, I made this loading screen all the way back when Rec Room didn't have white angel wings, and back then, I made a lot of videos talking about how I wanted white angel wings in Rec Room up until they were finally released and I was happy. And these angel wings that we have now are a recolor of the Pegasus wings, so I was thinking, what other cosmetics could possibly get recolored in the future? So, I made a list of what cosmetics could get recolored in the future and made concepts for these recolors, starting with this romper set. This set is honestly one of my favorite sets in Rock Room, and while I do doubt that I'll ever get recolored since it's fan-made, I would love to see it happen, which is why I not only made this purplish-blue version of the romper set, but I also made this rainbow version of it, which I think looks cool. Next, we got the werewolf set. I definitely think this set will get recolored in the future since I know a lot of people really like it and it would probably sell really well if made. So I made this brown and blue version of the werewolf set, which looks sick. I could definitely see this happening. Next up, we got the flower crown. This one is honestly just personal bias, but I really like the flower crowns in the game. I think they should get more recolors, which is why I made this golden yellow version of it. I would love to see more colors like this one though. And we also got the retcon hoodies. We didn't get a new one for 2024 unfortunately which is why I decided to make five different retcon hoodie variants that we could get in the future. Hopefully we get these at some point.
point. Something else that I'd love to see in the future has to do with skin colors. You see, in Rec Room, there are a total of 18 skin colors that you can choose from. And while I do think that we should get way more natural skin tones at some point, since I don't think 18 is enough, what I want to focus on today are the possibility of fantasy skin colors. I would absolutely love to see some fantasy skin colors added to Rec Room, such as a blue, red, purple, green, and even white so you can become a vampire. Lastly, for this video, I want to talk about something that I think has a lot of potential. Different mouth and eye types. There are already a ton of mouth and eye types in Rec Room, but with how simple the Rec Room faces are, there's a lot of potential for even more to be added in my opinion. For example, I made two mouth types. The first being buck teeth, which I think would be pretty popular mainly for trolls to mess around with. The second being this stitch mouth, which I personally like and would most likely also be popular, just not in a good way since most people would associate this with the stitched mouth from Roblox. And speaking of Roblox, if you want to see more from me, then you should go watch this video where I turn Roblox faces into Rec Room faces. Thanks for watching.